Hey y'all, it's me, Jenny. Real Talk New York with Jenny. They got up in vanity. What a calamity. They got the audacity. They got the audacity. Big up yourself, large up yourself. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, interact, and also share my stuff too if you like me. So you want me to um my channel to do good, okay? Here we are. And plus, it's useful information. You know I always got some good information for you guys, so stop. All right? So this is it. They don't support you, don't support them. It's just that simple. You do not support people who don't support you because it's not even normal. It's like a no, it's like you're not a fan. You're not a fan of these people. All right? You're not a fan of people. You're not the help. Uh, you're definitely not a maid. And you're not desperate, okay? You enjoy your own company and you're not frightened, all right? You enjoy your own company and you're not excited for people. You treat people how they treat you, not, no. Um, you treat people how they treat you or you don't treat them at all. Because if they're too bad, you just leave their life altogether. But guess what? If they don't support you, you do not support them, okay? So, inflation is up 10%. All right, sorry, I, I said the wrong thing. Erase that. Not 10%, 9%. I just did the research. Inflation is up 9%, okay? Um, that means times are getting hard. I went down, we're about to be in the hunger games. Times are about to get rough. I went down to the supermarket. There was literally nothing on the shelf. We're about to be in the hunger games. No time to play with people who only take, take, take now. There's no time for that. Go be on your grind, grind. And if they don't support you, don't worry about them. Don't give them your energy, your time, and don't support them back. Because guess what? Think about it. I was doing the mathematics. And I said, 2020 to 2022, I've been I had some hard times. The times are over now. Hard times are already passed. But I had some hard times. And that showed me who was really by my side, who really have my back. All right. So I say, you know what? I'm no longer supporting anyone who doesn't support me. No longer. And guess what? I save money that way. You know how much money I save? I, I didn't even realize I save money by just not supporting people, not going to people event. Because think about it. I don't have a car. So everywhere I go, if I'm going to an event, if I go to work, obviously I take the train as New York, right? But I don't have a car. So if I'm driving, sorry, sorry, sorry. If I'm taking the Uber, if I'm taking the Uber, guess what's going to happen now? I'm going to spend... $50 there and there, you know, tax rise, um, gas price. I don't know what's happening to my, my, I meant to say that gas prices are raising. Everything is going up. So you need to save as much as possible. Stop supporting people. That's what I meant to say. So prepare, save your money. I used to go, um, like take a taxi to a friend's house all, and it's far. So it would cost me like $60 each way. So that's 120. Now I stopped going. I stopped going because I realized when I was in a rough situation, it was no concern there. So I stopped going. And now that 120 is in my pocket. That 120 that I will spend from, from Uber is in my pocket. And I said, damn, I was doing the calculation. I said, you know what? If people don't support you, don't support them. You save money. You save time. You save your energy. And guess what? You no longer have to talk to them on the phone. If people don't support you, you know that. And if you adopt this mentality that I have, think about it. You know how some people call you, drain you, drain you, drain you, drain you with their problems, but you really don't want to listen sometimes. You just want to relax, maybe kick your feet up, maybe watch Netflix. Guess what? You don't have to pick up anymore because they don't support you. Hello, you don't have to pick up their phone. Hello, and that's a support. Picking up their phone is support. Giving people advice is support. Moral support. You don't have to support them no more. No type of support. No type of energy. All your time is for yourself. Why? And you could just relax. You could skip around the house six times if you want. Skip here. Skip. That's what I do. Skip here. Skip. I just said live my life. I don't support people no more. <laughs> Nobody I don't support. Cause it's so, cause I, you know why I started being like that? It's because it was so hard for me for the simplest things. Not only was it hard for me, um, people would try to sabotage me, like my when it comes to my hair career, my hair business. But guess what? I did it different. Now nobody can sabotage what I'm doing. I'm doing something completely different. I'm doing some stuff low key, so they can't sabotage. They can hate from a distance, but they can't sabotage me no more. So everything is more secret, more compressed. But I don't support people no more. 
I stop, child. I stop supporting people. And guess, you know, if it's a kid or underage, I will support. I will support. If it's an underage person, I will definitely support. But grown folks, absolutely not. Because people will ask you for hundreds of dollars. I won't even share your shit for free. I won't even like your stuff for free or share for free. But want, mm -mm, I no longer support people at all. At all, because guess what? I'm, I've been down bad. I've been down bad and I didn't have no support. I'm just starting to, you know, build and just starting to climb. And I realized, hey, if you don't support people and don't go to their event, don't, don't buy no gifts, don't even think about it. I'm telling you, this whole taxi thing really run my pockets dry because I don't have a cab. I'm sorry, I don't have a car. So if I'm going back and forth, every time I go visit or support an event, at least every event that I go to, at least for me to get there, it's at least $100. And I stopped going. So how much is my, so for the whole summer? Only thing I went to is, oh, the Javante Davis boxing match. I love boxing. So I went to the boxing match in Barclays um, by myself, by myself, because my money, I could treat myself. I could take a taxi. I could do whatever I want. I could treat myself. I no longer support people. I know because they don't support me. Simple as that. And it make me better. It made me better. Because guess what? My pockets are better. You understand? Hunger games. I got to prefer. If hunger is going to be so bad, the inflation is so bad. You know, never, what happened if I don't work? I don't have money. No income now. And then all the, the money I gave to people or support I gave to people. I'm, it's only me. I'm not a married woman. I'm not a married woman. So it's only me. I only got me, myself. And I, you know when I realized I only got me and myself? 2020. I realized I, got, I only got me and my. If somebody didn't reach out to you in a time like 2020. An pandemic, oops, I got to erase that. In a randemic, randemic 2020. If somebody, that's not somebody you need to ever deal with ever again. Because people were literally losing their lives. They were literally dying. So literally they didn't care if you were dead or alive. And that's really the reality of it. They didn't care if you were dead or alive. If some everybody's passing away and somebody never shot you a text, uh, mm, you don't need to be, that person don't need to no longer be in your life. No longer be in your life. All right? And I'm not chasing people. I remember people literally left my life. And I did nothing to them. And I'm supposed to support them? Who's going to support me? Who is going to help me? No, you're important. Support you. Imagine the support that you will give to other people. Give that support to yourself. Instead of sitting there talking loud on the phone. With them nagging and draining and nagging. Complaining and nagging. Oh, my problems. My problems. Instead of giving them more support, guess what you do? Support yourself. Go and say your affirmations in the mirror. Build you up. Build your strength. Go and say, I'm strong. I'm beautiful. I'm smart. Go and build yourself up. Support you. Build your strength. Build yourself. Have you say your positive affirmations. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am worthy. I'm strong. I'm beautiful. I'm worthy. Build you up. You forget about their support. You already know they're not giving it. So start supporting you, build you. And then once you keep everything to yourself and you know, like bill, save your money, you know, do what you got to do for you, better you, you're going to come out on a better person. You're not in competition with nobody, but you are going to come out a, a, a better person. People, you got to learn how to take care of you. Take care of you. You don't need to their support for them to come and take care of you and boost you up. No, the fact that they, you look at you see they don't support you, they will never support you. Use your resources not to support them, but to market your product, to boost yourself, big up yourself, build yourself, take a course. Do not use your resources to people who can't even share your shit for free. Sorry, don't it don't work that way. You don't do that. Who can't give you, uh, who would never do nothing for you and delete them off. If, if you know you have a, a business page, you know, I, I believe in bad energy. I do. If you have a business page that you're promoting, you're promoting and people you actually know, it's okay for strangers not to support you. It's very okay. It's okay for, cause they don't know you, but you more, nine times out of 10 strangers will support you more than people you actually know. But if people you actually know, and if they don't support, guess what? You delete them off your social media. If, especially if it's a business page, delete it. There's no hard feelings. You're doing business. Business and feelings doesn't mix. 
you delete them. Sorry, I'm not comfortable with people watching me, watching me all day, watching me struggle. See, because promoting and building is not easy. It's not easy for anyone. Yeah, guys, it's not. So support yourself, build you up, use your resources for you. And if people don't reciprocate, say for instance, it was your birthday and it, somebody didn't say it's happy birthday you know, to you. They literally don't even know you. And then you're going to go to their event and buy them a gift. Hell no. Hell no. Buy, go, buy yourself an own birthday gift. Buy yourself a birthday gift. What I did to myself last year, I did my birthday up. Buy yourself a birthday gift. Do something special for you. Ugh. Go, go to and get some jewelry. Get you some nice earrings. Some, you know what I'm saying? Do something for you. Start making yourself feel special for one. Start loving you. Support yourself. It feels so good. Before I used to always, I used to literally begging for support. Now I don't care. I don't care. I think I have a different mindset no more. You're not getting my value. You're not even getting a phone call from me. Not even a conversation. Not even a pickup. You're not getting a penny from me. A dime from me. You And then some people will literally left your, left your life now. And then they left your life. But then they come back. You didn't harm them. You didn't rob them. You didn't sleep around on their mat with their man. You didn't do nothing to them. They left your life because of what somebody told them. But now... Or it don't matter. They whatever they left your life. People, I I used to let people come in and out my life in the past. I used to let people come in and out my life in the past. I did, but now no longer. Once you're gone, stay gone. That's all. I'm not excited over people. Once you're gone, please stay gone. Cause I know there's people calling me, and I don't want to. Cause but I had the same phone number for over ten years. I had the same phone number and. No, well, well over 10 years, maybe 12 years. I had the same phone number and it's just like, I don't want, it's hard to get people to stop calling. Put it like this, you don't support me, no hard feelings, I still got love for you, but I no longer will be supporting. And it, it not even a quarter I can't give. Not even a quarter, I can't. I, I struggled too much, I had too much rough time. I had too much of a hard life, I can't give a quarter. Sorry. Real Talk New York with Janik. I don't have it. I don't have it. I only have it for mine. And we're in the Hunger Games now. Big up yourself. Large up yourself. Real Talk New York with Janik. Love you guys. Bye.